Now our uh, first speaker uh, has joined us remotely. She will only be with us for the first part of the session due to a conflict, uh, but uh, this is uh, Luis Luis uh, von der uh, Luis Luis. Thank you very much. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Can you hear me from this Skype connection? Yes. 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 Oh, good. OK. Uh, I'm really sorry that I was not able to attend in person, uh, but I'm a member of the board of the Internet Corporation for Sign Names and Numbers, and we're having our community forum in Copenhagen. Uh, that means also that I will have to drop after after my, my contribution. But I'm, one of the things we do is to keep the Internet going, which is why I'm able to join you online and why we can make these, uh, these wonderful connections. Um, I really want to say congratulations to all the sponsoring organizations uh, for putting this very important topic uh, on the agenda. Uh, the impression that many of us uh, around the world are getting is that the so-called war on drugs in the Philippines is descending into extrajudicial killings that will cost innocent lives and will do very little, in fact, to, to stop the drugs trade. And it's very, very important that, um, that this was able to be put on the agenda in this way. I used to be spokeswoman on justice in the Dutch and the European Parliament, and I agree wholeheartedly with Vice President Robredo that drugs abuse is a very complex social and health issue that cannot be solved with police brutality. Police has a role, but only within the limits of the law. Now, I feel very connected to the issue in general, but for the Philippines in particular, um, because I have had, uh, was, had a very inspiring visit to the Philippines in March of 2011. It was my only visit. But at the time, I was serving as the chief of staff of the president of the International Criminal Court. And uh, my president, President Song, was meeting with uh, the then president, Benino Aquino, to try to persuade him to ratify the Treaty of Rome. And uh, in order to prepare for the meeting, we met with the civil society, which is extremely strong and vibrant uh, in the Philippines. We met with academia, with uh, human rights organizations. And they had been fighting tirelessly to keep the Philippines a very strong democracy, guided by the rule of law and the protection of human rights. And they were actually so effective that by the time we got to the meeting with the president, he immediately confirmed that he uh, had already sent the treaty to the Senate for, for ratification. And what I found very interesting was his motivation for the Philippines ratifying the treaty. He explained that there are so many Philippines, Filipinos who are working uh, and living abroad in other countries outside of the Philippines, that it is in the national interest to create a country, um, to create a world which is guided by the rule of law. Um, and that by ratifying the treaty, the Philippines was actually setting a standard also for the rest of the world uh, to protect their nationals, uh, no matter where they might be. And I found that extremely inspiring, uh, that as well as uh, the very active civil society. The, the many very motivated politicians we met, um, most of them actually were women, which I also found extremely inspiring. Um, and I very much look to... I look forward to working together with everyone um, to try to support those in the Philippines that want to ensure that uh, everyone is equal before the law and that human rights uh, apply to all. So I wish you all a very productive visit. I will try to stay online as long as I can um, to listen, but for the rest I'm sure I will be debriefed afterwards. And I wish everyone good luck for this session. Thank you. Uh, now since... Uh, oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Um, now, since Ms. Van der Laan uh, will have to leave soon, are there any uh, very brief questions for her before we move on to our next item? Uh, okay, so next, um, next we will, we have a video from the called uh, chairman, uh, Thailand former Prime Minister Abhijit uh, Vajajra.